Good morning, Cynthia from The Nameless Homestead here. Today we are gonna be doing our very first subscriber requested video. Today we're gonna be talking about how to keep your chickens in their chicken yard and safe where they belong through trimming their feathers. Despite common assumptions, chickens are actually pretty efficient flyers and gliders when they need to be. I've seen chickens fly over six foot tall chain link fence or privacy fence like it's nothing. And depending on your situation, that can be not so great. Trimming up feathers on chickens is a super easy, simple procedure that you don't need to fear doing. Uh, so as soon as we're done milking the goats and feeding them for the morning, we're going to go ahead and walk over to the chicken yard and I'll show you how to do it. It's a simple five minute procedure and you will thank yourself for having it done. What do you think, Pipes? These are good snacks. Yeah, it's a good snacks. You like your breakfast? You about finished? Phoebe's really, really anxious to get her grain. You done with your turn? You're up, Phoebe. Gone out, Pipes. Spinny spins for grains? Are you excited? You wanna get some, get milked and get some grain? Oh, focus camera. Waggly tails, waggly tails. Are you hungry? All right, we are in the love shack on this wonderful rainy Wednesday morning. And we have Flower here, who is going to be our subject for the day. We're gonna go ahead and get her her wings trimmed up and show you how simple this procedure is. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, set her on my lap, and we'll get started. You have to pardon my rooster. He's very distressed that I'm holding one of his ladies. So the first step be in doing this and doing it right is identifying the primary and secondary feathers. So these super long feathers, the end, are the primary feathers. These are their primary flight feathers. These are secondary feathers. If you'll notice on the underside of the wing, there is a very uh, obvious difference and line where the primary feathers overlap the secondary feathers. And this is the line that you want to trim to. All these feathers have quicks, just like your dog has quicks in his nails and you wanna make sure you don't trim his nails too short. You don't wanna trim your chicken's feathers too short because you'll end up trimming down to the quick and you'll have a bleeding chicken, which will not be nice. But if you just simply trim the primary feathers down to the line of the secondary feathers, you won't get too close to the quick and you will have removed enough feathers that it will make it very difficult for your chicken to manage to hop taller fences. So we got our trusty scissors and it's as simple as finding that line and snipping alongside it. Now you can do just one side if you want to and this will make it difficult for the chicken to aim when she goes to fly over your fence. She'll end up flying in kind of a moon shape rather than straight because only one wing will have its primary feathers. So you don't, if you live more rurally and still need your chickens, oh, here you go, sweetheart. I know, you don't like that. Let's turn the camera back around. So you don't have to trim both sides if you don't want to, especially if you live more rurally or if there happen to be more predators in your area. Maybe you want to keep them inside the pasture, but you also want to keep enough flight wing on them so that they can avoid uh, predation a little better. That's fine as well. You don't have to do both. And if you live in an area where that's really just not a big concern of yours, but they're getting over your fence very easily, if you do both sides, it will further reduce and hamper their ability to get over it. So really that's it. It's as simple as that. There's nothing to it really. They don't feel any pain. It's just the same as trimming hair or cutting fingernails. It's just dead keratin until you reach the quick. And as long as you follow the directions I've provided and don't go any further down the, wing, the feather shaft than that secondary line of feathers, you won't ever have to worry about that either. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy.